first love is the chance to do it. Yeah. I want the time. Okay, we're doing this again. I had my doubts about making this video, but I figured there was a story worth telling. So this is how I won the GoPro Million Dollar Challenge again. For those of you who are not familiar, since 2018, every year that GoPro has released a new camera, they've put up a prize pool of $1 million to anyone who captures something on the latest camera and submits it on their website. They're limited to 100 potential winners, so the minimum payout is at least $10,000. It's a brilliant concept and sees thousands of people go out and try to capture amazing moments on the newest GoPro. A genius marketing tactic, one would say. The first year they did it, I took a big risk in spending a decent amount of money to go all the way to the Turks and Caicos and team up with my friends from Wake to Wake. And in the end, it paid off and we all walked away with a decent paycheck to cap off the year. You may have seen the previous video I made about that. However, this time due to all the lockdowns and travel restrictions, I knew that traveling to some far remote location was just not going to be possible. Luckily, I live in one of the most beautiful countries in the world and so I decided to make the most with what I could back home. Now, this being the third time entering into the challenge, I knew I had to do something different to the previous years. And if I've learned anything about watching all the videos that GoPro produce, it's that they really like showcasing unique angles that only an action camera can capture, along with bright, contrasting colors. So with all this in mind, I set off for my first shoot with my friend Zandi to go free diving in some of the kelp forests around Cape Town. Now, Cape Town is not known for having clear water due to a year-round upwelling, but we lucked into what were probably the best conditions of the entire year and Zandi, being the true legend she is, was willing to brave the 11 degree water, yes, 11 degrees Celsius, to swim in a 2 millimeter one piece instead of a full wetsuit. Because let's be real, it looks so much better than a wetsuit. And I also knew there would probably be people submitting clips from tropical dive locations around the world that were a lot warmer, so having to brave the cold was going to be our best shot at making the cut. Unfortunately, none of these clips made it in the end, which I was kind of surprised by, but regardless, it was an incredible day of diving, and we still got some amazing footage to show for it. Next up, I hit up my buddy Travis Fisher. He is one of the best slalom skiers in South Africa and lives on an incredible lake out in the countryside, which is about a two hour flight from Cape Town. So I booked a round trip flight, which was around $300. I knew this location was going to be hard to beat with the incredibly reflective water which makes for beautiful cinematic shots. We head out onto the water to shoot and end up sticking the GoPro to the front of Travis's ski using a suction cup and along with some duct tape for added safety. We also put the Max Lens mod on the GoPro as we knew this was a new accessory that GoPro wanted to showcase and it would allow us to capture the scene in such a unique way with the horizon remaining perfectly level while Travis ripped around at 60 kilometers an hour. And as you can see, this angle really showcases the incredible technology behind the camera and the lens stabilization. And this shot ended up making the cut for the edit. Travis's brother Jared then decided to take a swing at getting a shot of himself barefooting next to the boat in these bright red shorts. And as cool as the shot is, it unfortunately didn't make the cut in the end, but the stoke was real. Big thanks to Bernard for all the driving and the entire Fisher family for having me out at their special place for a few days. It is honestly a water ski heaven up there. Oh, I almost forgot. I mounted the GoPro on top of the DJI to get some drone shots, seeing as I don't fly FPV yet. 
and after watching a couple tutorials on YouTube, this seemed to work well for some people and it definitely worked well for some of my shots, but do not actually never do this with your drone because it ended up interfering with the drone's GPS and it was no longer responding and ended up crashing into the lake and sinking to the bottom before we could get to it. We attempted to dive it out the next day, but we just could not find it. So in the end, these aerial shots ended up costing me a drone and a GoPro. So I was down around $2,000 at the time, but spirits were still high as I was happy with the shots we had got so far and I hadn't lost any important footage. I've always had the mindset of not caring too much if my gear breaks or gets lost, as long as I have all my footage, it'll be okay. Next up, I went to the local water park with my friend Kanye. Knowing that the water slides were blue, I knew I wanted a nice contrasting color for this environment to really make the shot stand out. So a big thanks to my friend Candace from Baker Bikinis for hooking up the red and yellow swimsuits that we used for these shots. We used the max lens mod again to showcase the new stabilization and you really see how effective it is in these shots because of how much we move around in the frame yet the horizon remains perfectly level the entire time. After almost 40 laps and two wardrobe changes I was pretty happy with all the shots we had and this moment ended up making the cut. Now don't get me wrong, I love a fun day out at the water park but doing the same slide over 30 times to get the shot does get a little tiring but honestly I wouldn't trade it for anything. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. Before we get into the next section, I want to talk about the music I've been using in today's video. So I've recently teamed up with Lict, which is an amazing music licensing platform. For years, YouTubers and creators have been excluded from being able to license chart-topping music um, at the loss of, you know, being demonetized or having a copyright claim. I have had a copyright claim on my most viewed YouTube video, which has 6.2 million views so that's a decent amount of ad revenue that you know i've completely lost and it's probably all gone to the record label and i'd like to think that some of it went to the artist i really hope some of it did but now Lict has an incredible pay per license option where you can literally license some of your favorite music from some of your favorite artists like i have in this video i've always dreamed of being able to license music from flume and it is available on Lict's platform Lict are also on a mission to sign every major record label and publisher so that every YouTuber creator can have access to their favorite commercial music. Lict has also recently added a subscription service for their stock music library. So if the pay per license for your sort of more chart topping commercial music isn't for you, there is a basic subscription service at a sort of cheaper price that allows you access to their entire stock library. With the subscription service and the pay per license, Lict has pretty much become the ultimate one-stop shop for all of your music as a creator. I cannot even begin to express the amount of hours I've spent looking for music that I can actually monetize, so much so that it's gone to the point where last year I actually gave up on monetization on my YouTube channel. I'm lucky enough that I have other revenue streams available to me. So I was like, you know what? Let the record label artists claim the ad revenue. I can make money in other ways. Um, but now with Lict, I have access to some of my favorite music by some of my favorite musicians. So it is honestly the dream platform I've been wanting for so many years and now it's available. So being signed up with Lict is going to save you a lot of time because it's really easy to browse the music. It's going to save you a lot of money because you can actually license epic commercial music at a really affordable price. It's also going to allow you to make ad revenue without being demonetized or having a copyright claim and ultimately just grow your channel. So by supporting Lict, you are supporting the artists who create the epic music that you get to license off Lict's platform. And the more creators that sign up to Lict, the more artists and record labels and publishers that Lict can sign, ultimately creating the most incredible library and collection of music that you could license as a creator online. So this is honestly the ultimate music platform. It's something I've dreamed about for so long and I'm really excited to be able to use Lict in a bunch of my future videos and finally actually monetize the music that I use in my videos. So if you sign up using the link below, you'll get 50% off your first license for Chart Music, as well as 60 days of free access to the stock music library. So if you wanna see more, hit that link below. Okay, let's get back into the video. Something else I wanted to mention for this year's challenge is how many of my fellow South African friends took part and all of them found success in going for it. My roommate, Torn Fisser, teamed up with wingsuit legend JJ Wallace and FPV pilot Stefan Van Sale, and they ended up getting some absolutely mental shots. This POV shot of JJ coming in for a beach landing ended up making the cut.
Needless to say, it was awesome to see the Saffron crew get a bunch of shots into the challenge and it always means so much more to us coming from a small country at the tip of Africa. I've always found success in collaboration and working with the right people. It's like that saying, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And I really believe that holds true for so many things in life. So at the end of the day, my total budget was around $2,600 and it was all worth it in the end. There were 56 winners, so that meant the payout was around $18,000 each. And with my expenses and tax, my total profit in the end was around $12,000. So what did I do with the money? Well, there was really only one thing to do. No, I'm just kidding. I actually invested all of it into a startup beverage company called River, but more on that at another time. Needless to say, we're definitely going hard on content. All right, that is a wrap on this week's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been a while since I've done a storytelling style video. I kind of forgot how hard it is, so massive respect to those who do it, and a big shout out again to Licked for being the sponsor of this week's video. Such an incredible platform. Definitely go check it out if you're interested in any kind of music licensing. As a creator, it is by far the most superior option out there. Genuinely, completely blown away by it. Um, I'm really excited to use it in future videos as well. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for tuning in.